Hey, my sunshines. Thank you very much for tuning into Life of Sunshine on Wheels. It's your girl, Shayna, and I want to say thank you very much for taking time out of your day just to spend a little bit with me. Minus the sparkles on my chest. Let's see. I just want to talk to you a little bit about how my day been going and what I have been doing. Uh talk with both doctors, my specialists, and things like that, and my primary care doctor, and to let them know what was going on, you know, after my little trouble, but overall, I made it in the right direction. It's still pain, especially when I have to do those breathing exercises. It is painful, but hey, I'm a fighter, no pain, no gain. So I'm not going to complain because it could be a lot worse. Yes, it could be broken into two, needing to have surgery, but it's not. So I'm not going to complain. We have a plan. Well, the doctors came up with a plan for me. I need to get more calcium. In my diet, I think I talked about this in the last show, and continue to do my breathing exercises, and boy, do they hurt. They hurt. And I want to explain to you all what the chest feel like. If you ever had a chest cold, and you know you get that burning sensation after you cough, that's the feeling I have. And then if I recline my bed all the way back, I can't breathe. And it feels like my chest is heavy. So I sleep halfway up. So it won't be too much on my breathing or my chest. My Hoya lift has been charging. So hopefully after this week is up, I don't know. I may be able to sit in my chair. But we shall see my left side, especially my arm area up at the top, have to get that work done because I haven't been moving it too much because it hurts. That side where the fractured rib is, I have to do a high calcium diet. So I have to get 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day in my body. And the doctors went over with me about that. Of course, do my vitamins. I have to do my bone scan the 26th of this month. I never had that done to determine if I have osteoporosis and it could be coming, it's coming from, part of it is coming from the prednisone because I'm on a chronic dosage of the prednisone. So, and we have to look out for that. So, I got to straighten up and fly right or sit up in my chair and roll right in that case but overall no complaints I just have to do what I got to do in order to get better and keep on going so it don't matter if I gotta cry kick snot fight bleed although I don't want to bleed nowhere you know can't afford to lose nothing, and I can't afford to break nothing else. But I got to do what I got to do to keep on going. And I just want to leave you all with this. You know what? This is going to be a confession. This is my confession. Don't give up. No matter how many times you get knocked down, you got to keep getting back up and keep on fighting. Even in the bed, don't give up. Keep on fighting. And work on only what you can do to make you get better. And don't worry about nothing else. Only do what you can do. And eventually, everything will fall into place. I don't feel sad about this situation. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm not upset not bitter. It's just that, hey, it happened. I learned from it. 
I learned what's going on with my body in the process. And I now know what I have to do to get better. So this is not it. I'm going to keep going. And of course, you're going to see your girl real soon. Just besides sitting in the bed with a head scarf and sparkles on my chest. <laughs> so I want to say thank you to all my sunshines for all your support. Thank you for all your prayers and your love and being understanding. I'll see you next time on Life for Sunshine on Wheels. And I hope you enjoyed my confession.